Hey folks, Mr. Buckley here. We're going to talk a little bit about the box model in HTML and CSS. Um, so here's the things we're going to cover. Um, just that everything is represented as a box. Um, we're going to go to W3 schools and look at what they have to say. Talk about padding versus margin and some other things in there. All right, here we go. So I've already got a project open um, with just an H1 tag. It says box model. If I right click and then click inspect, um, you can see that the source HTML pulls up and I hover over the H1 and there's some highlighting that happens here. Um, you can see that the blue is the content of the H1 and then the orange is the margin of the H1 and the margins included by default for H1, H2, paragraph tags, couple other things. Um, and all of this makes up a HTML element which is represented as a box on a page. Um, and so we're going to learn how to manipulate these boxes to be different sizes, have different spacing, borders, etc. Um, so a great place to go for that, for an introduction, is w3schools.com. I'll put the link in the description. Um, under CSS box model, it shows us that there are four parts to an HTML elements box. There's the content, where the text, etc. will go. Um, there's the padding, the border, and then the margin. So um, each, each little um, part of the box has its own job. Um, and you can obviously read it here, read it on their website. I won't go over it in detail um, now, but, if the, but we can click on the example um, because this has some code that we're going to be manipulating for the assignment. Um, you'll notice they've put their style um, and a style tag in the head. We have ours in a separate CSS file. It's all the same. It's all CSS. Um, I'm actually going to copy this over to my REPL um, to get a box that's going to look like this. So I'll put that in my CSS. And then I'm also going to make a div tag with just some placeholder text so you can see the box and the content in action on the page. Awesome. So let's go to the CSS and talk about these things. First thing you'll notice we have background color. That's pretty straightforward. We've done that before. And then we have a width. Um, this also implies that we can have a height, which we can. Let's make these 100 pixels and see what that gives us. Gives us a little square shape right here. Cool. Next thing to go over is border. If I hover over it here, it says that there are there's border, width, style, and color. Those are the three properties, three main properties that go with border. Um, so I can change the width to be something else. I can change the style to be something else. And you can look up what these are on W3 Schools or anywhere else on the internet. Google it. Um, there we go. Now we have a dash border that's blue and 10 pixels wide. Okay, the next value we have is padding. Um, let me change it a little bit so you can see what that looks like. If I change it to 10 pixels, here's how it'll affect the box. So notice that padding is inside the border and pa both padding and border um, inherit the background color of the div. However, margin does not. If I change margin, you'll notice that the white space around the box just increases. And then if I go over to the inspector here, you can see that in the um, in the box model representation over here, where this is the content, this is the padding, this is the border, and this is the margin. Um, because it's d divs are display block by default, you'll notice that it extends the margin all the way out to the right. <clears throat> um, but the values that we've defined is just 40 pixels in all directions. So what if I wanted to change just the value of like the top of the margin or the left side or the right or bottom? Um, so there are shortcuts for this, but I'm just going to show you the basic way to do it, which is margin top. And I could change that to be like 10 pixels or something like that. And then the margin on the top would be 10, and the rest of them would be 40. Same thing with padding and border and everything else. Um, I could do like padding uh, right is like 30 pixels or something. And that would give me a bit of space on the right inside my box. 
So um, you can mess around with those. Again, it's top, left, right, and bottom. Um, and then if you want to just affect all of them at once, you just type margin, padding, or border, and then the width that you would like. Okay, so I hope that gives you a little bit of an introduction to the CSS box model. Um, and I'm sure you'll see applications in your code pretty immediately as you want to space things out and move things around your layout. So happy coding.